Hi, this is Kelly McInerney for CineLinks here at the red carpet premiere of People You May Know at the Grove in Los Angeles. So you're here supporting your friend Justin. Um, yeah. Do you know anything about the film, or you just, you said you like to be surprised, right? I do. I like to be surprised and uh, you know not know too much beforehand. Otherwise, it's a little bit too much spoil alert for me. Yeah. And you said, uh, so we know, I, I don't know much about it either because I haven't seen it, but it's about social media. Uh, how do you feel about social media? Sometimes I feel like I get too stressed out, especially with like politics and everything. Yeah, do you find yourself down the rabbit hole where you're like, who am I at the end of it? It's, you know, it can be really daunting sometimes. And I guess depending on what kind of mood I'm in, I love it or hate it, you know. Um, using it as a platform to support the things I believe in, amazing. Scrolling through girls that make me feel jealous and sad, not so cool, <laughs> you know. Or just you start to compare yourself to things that aren't really real and photoshopped and that kind of stuff and I think a lot of women struggle with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you do to like if you find yourself down the rabbit hole in the bad way looking at these girls how do you break away and try and forget about it? Um, I tend to do a lot of meditation I think that's really helpful. Um, also, just like working on self-love, and uh, I think it actually has helped me in a way because when I find myself doing that, I say to myself, "What are you doing? Like, love yourself. Yeah, yeah. You only have one life, so appreciate it." Awesome. And so you did Flesh and Bone. Uh, you danced in it. How did you? Did you prepare? Are you a former dancer, or did you have to like learn dancing for the uh, miniseries? Um, I was a professional ballet dancer for 25 years. It was my first um, acting job ever. So they sort of found, I was living in Germany at the time and they found me there and uh, put me in the show. And since then I've been doing all non-dance roles. So. What's, uh, what are you coming out with next? Um, well, I was just on Showtime's I'm Dying up here, which is going into their second season. Uh, Room 104 on HBO, which is the Duplass Brothers. Uh, then I've got Sea Oak on Amazon, which came out last Friday, and that's Glenn Close and Hiro Mirai from Atlanta directing. Um, I've got a movie that's coming out festival this winter, I believe, called Braid, which is like a horror, scary, frightening female. That's cool. So you pick like, you're a dancer, you do a horror movie, uh, the Glenn Close one I heard, it's a comedy. What makes you choose the role? Like what, what uh, pops out for you to like, oh, this is the one I want to do? I feel like, you know, my team and I are pretty picky about what we do as far as, because I'm so new, I've only been acting for two years, so it's a very fortunate, you know, position to be in. Um, I like things that are bizarre and that bend the norm, and I think that comedy, comedy has sort of chosen me, which I didn't expect, but... And for I'm Dying Up Here, did you have to prepare any, like, uh, did you write a stand-up set or anything to prepare for it, or? No, I actually play the girlfriend of one of the main characters, and she's got a very sad storyline with drugs, and uh, it, it's a very dark part of the show. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Did you have to do drugs? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do drugs. So. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks so much. It was nice meeting you. Nice to meet yeah. you too. Thanks so much. Bye. Thanks.